Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials. You are watching PL Bhavan Tutorials. So today I would like to share you one of the important topic in, in PL Bhavan programming that is about the file handling. Same like any other programming language, so when we are working with the file, so we need to understand the life cycle of the file and then we need to start programming for the files. So let's begin with the programming steps of how the life cycle will be for file handling. So as you all know that file is a file is a collection of records or we can say collection of rows and columns considered to be a uh, is called as a files okay when I say a collection of records and columns so here uh, columns are nothing but each, each, each fields are defined as a columns a record is nothing but the entire row of that particular fields is said to be known as a record so the the hence the file is called as a collection of combinations of rows and columns or a records and a set of fields okay so the, coming to the life cycle of the file so we need to define the it, it, it we need to def we need to have the four steps for any file handling so the first step or the important step is you need to define the file like what is a file name and what is a for record size you are using the file name and the next step would be the open the file so first you will be defining like this is my file name and uh, this is the this is exactly the file name either it might be a ps file or it might be a vzam file okay or a ksds or rds files okay just so you will be specifying your file name then you after specifying the input file name so you have to open the file okay after opening the file you have to process information in the files so after opening the file you retrieve the information or you read the data from the file and you will be processing for your business logic then after after you think like uh, the information has been processed then you have to close your file so these are the four basic steps that we need to remind uh, remember when working with the file handling that is you need to define the file open the file process information in the file and close the file okay then coming to the file declaration so how do we declare a file so as I said the, the first step was a declaration of file how do we declare this file the set of records in the file or data set is referred to in a PLB program by a file name right so the name should be of 1 to 8 characters long for example so DCL declare payroll and a file okay when you specify a keyword called file with the name so it indicates that you are trying to use you are trying to declare a file or you are trying to work with the files okay the other attributes can be like type of transmission either it is a stream or a record or a direction of transmission that is either you want to open the file you want to read this file in the input mode output mode or an update mode then we have the physical environment where you will specify your block size so it can be mentioned in this here and after specifying the attributes of a complete file declaration the statement will look like as follows that is DCL EMP file you'll be giving your file and you are trying to read it in input mode stream environment and a fixed block size of 8 in the same way if you're writing if you're trying to declare something for out file output file you'll be declaring something declaration like declare out file file output stream environment from fixed block size in the same way uh, the, this is other way of declaring the file you are very here you're trying to print the file so print file file output stream and print environment and fixed block size of 80 so these are the listed uh, the, then talking about the list directed IO for a file so so far you have declared a file stating like this is my input file this is output file this is the print file now you have to read the data from the file right and you have to write the data into the file so how do you write that how do you read it that is list directed IO for a file so you have to specify it as a get file file name and list data names okay the way with the all the variables names you'll be declaring and you'll be extracting the information the get is used to read the data put is used to write the data into the file so put file file name list data names or a get list file name edit 
data names you can you can use a list or you can use edit so the put list put file file name edit data name so there are two ways of for getting data that is using list or using let edit okay the next you have to open a statement so now you have declared a file after declaring a file you have to open the file so open file file name or open in file in file okay these are the different ways of declaring it so either you can open the input file multi output file either the single statements or you can write it to separate statements like open file in file open file out file okay the next are simple open so the files these are the ways of declaration these are the variables x y z the following attributes and options may be specified in the open statements that is about stream record input or output print page size line size stream files and having print so these are the different ways uh, different attributes that can be used in the open statements so here we are defining just we are specifying only file file name right so you can also specify record or record three input and print page size and line size okay now finally it comes to the close statement so first you have opened the file first you have declared the file open the file and you have uh, written some data to the file and finally you have to close the files so if you are not closing the file there is a chance of getting abandoned or it throws an error like the file was open but it has it wasn't closed so for every time we need to make sure that the file is open and closed after the process so how do we close it so the close statement close file file name or close force file in file or you can close all the files what are the files you are going to use in your program that is in file out file and so on so with this uh, this is the complete life cycle of a files or working with the files in prepl bar and programming language okay I, lo I hope uh, you got some idea about the file handling while working with the PL Bar 1 programming. So, I'll be coming up with more and more videos on PL Bar 1 programming and also on mainstream other modules. So, if you like this video, kindly please subscribe or like or comment on my YouTube channel. So, thank you so much for watching. Have a great and pleasureful day or an evening.